Hello there, my kindergartners. You have your packet? Okay. All right. I'm going to split this lesson in two lessons. Okay. So the first one, we're going to watch only how to use it and start with the primary colors. Okay. Red, yellow, and blue. Then go to the other lesson. Okay. And on that lesson, we're going to mix the colors. Yes, we're going to mix colors. Okay? Now, these lessons, they are long because I want to make sure that you will understand and learn how we should properly use brushes. Okay? And the paper and everything else, how to clean brushes, that's very important. Okay? For us artists, when we're using paint, we have to clean constantly. Okay? Because paint is very messy. I love messy stuff. Don't you like messy stuff? Yeah, but still, we have to clean up stuff so we can get the way we want our art. All right? So let's start with you learning to set everything, and then we go and we paint the circles, we paint the primary colors, and then on the second part, when you go to the other one, you're going to see how we're going to mix that. Okay? All right? There, my dear kindergartners. What an exciting class today. We're going to talk about so many cool things today. We're going to talk about colors. We're going to talk about the color wheel. We're going to talk about your paint package. Ha! Ah, did you get your paint package? If not, get it from your art teacher. I mean, oh, your art teacher is me, right, Mr. Solo? Get it from your teacher, okay? Your kindergarten teacher had a packet just like that for you. Now, this packet, we got the help from the PTO. If you don't know what is the PTO, it's the Parents and Teachers Organization. So probably your parents maybe are on the PTO, okay? All right, ask them, all right? They help put the paint in the little bottles for you and the brush and everything in a packet to be delivered to your house so everything is nice and clean, okay? And it's an individual packet just for you. Now, when you get home after watching this video, you saw there, it's written, do not open. So I hope you have not opened, okay? But if you're watching the video and you have your packet, you can open now, all right? Now, we're going to do this. What? We're going to open the packet, okay? And we're going to take the things out to see what it is, okay? There's a paper, okay? Then... You got the bottles of paint. Don't open them yet, okay? All right? And you have a brush. Mr. Brush, we're going to talk about it. And you have another little tiny paper. It's a shiny paper. Talk about that in a minute. Because I wanted to start with you with the Mr. Brush, okay? All right, now, when you're using the brush, okay, one thing you have to be very, very careful, all right? Mr. Brush has three parts. So let's talk about it because, you know, we artists, we have to know our tools. So a brush is a very good friend of the artist because we use them all the time, right? When we're painting, we use them all the time. Now, your Mr. Brush, the one you're getting in this packet, has three parts like pretty much every Mr. Brush, okay? There are different kinds of Mr. Brush. There are big Mr. Brush, there's small Mr. Brush, okay? There's long Mr. Brush. There's very big Mr. Brush, and there's long and thin Mr. Brush, okay? Now, your Mr. Brush, this one here, like every brush, has three parts. We're going to talk about it, okay? First part, this part here, that's the handle, okay? That's when you're going to hold it, okay? That's the metal part. That's the hair. Yes, hair, just like, you know, hair, okay? Now, when you're looking at your brush, the best way to hold your Mr. Brush is from the handle. So what you do is you get three fingers, okay? Like you do with your pencil, all right? Grab it like that. It's not a good idea when you're painting to use like this, unless you're doing a Jackson Pollock or you want it to reach somewhere. But when you want it to be precise, okay? Precision, okay? We artists, we use a lot of precision. So precision is that I wanted to put the paint in this spot. So that's precision. So precision means when you want to be precise, when you want it to do where you want it. You don't want it to do in there. You want it to do right in here. Best way is hold like your brush. So grab it here 
right on this handle part, okay? You have more control if you hold it from here because then you can move your brush and your wrist any way you want it, okay? So that's the best way to hold Mr. Brush. Now, the metal is in here just to hold the hair, okay? So the metal is connected to the handle and holds the hair. Now, the hair of Mr. Brush is something that you have to be very, very careful. That's because Mr. Brush doesn't like the hair to be mistreated, which means you cannot do this with the Mr. Brush. Look, you cannot keep doing this all the time. You see, look, when you keep doing this all the time with Mr. Brush, see, the hair, oh man, poor Mr. Brush, sorry. What is going to happen with your Mr. Brush? Hey, where's my Mr. Brush? This is going to happen with your Mr. Brush. Oh, poor Mr. Brush hair, you see? Now, this brush here, this was done too much. See? Now, it's ruined. Cannot use this Mr. Brush anymore, unfortunately, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Brush. Okay. Now, if you keep doing this, it's going to ruin. So, remember that. Your Mr. Brush, you should go like this. See? Try to work like that. When we go to paint, I will show you proper way to use your paint, okay? All right? And I'm gonna teach you a little song today too, but that's for later. All right, now, brush, paper, and let's talk about that shiny little paper that I told you, the paper palette, okay? See the name here, paper palette? Now, palette is this. That's a palette, see? So, you know when you see sometimes those fancy artists in a movie using a brush, like, you know, they're holding in their hand. So that's a palette. So a palette is a place where we put the paint and we mix. Yes, we did a mix paint. That's why I put some paper palettes there for you, okay? So you have, think, I, I think, about three or four of them, okay? So save them. Try not to waste, okay? Because we're going to use it a lot, all right? Now... Paper palette, Mr. Brush, your paint, and let's talk about your paint. In your paint, you have five little bottles, okay? Two bottles, black and white, save for next project, okay? Don't use your black and white now, okay? We're going to stick to the other three, which are red, yellow, and blue, and they have a name. Do you know the name of Red, Yellow, and Blue? Like, do you know? They are the... Some of you know! That's right, the primary colors! Yes, primary colors! Primary colors, that means the first colors. That's because with Red, Yellow, and Blue, you can make many colors, okay? Now, to make blue, you cannot mix another color, so blue can only be made with blue. Same thing for red, same thing for yellow. They can only be made with their own color, okay? Now, on the other hand, if I mix yellow and blue, I can make a different color. If I mix blue and red, I can make a different color. If I mix red and blue, or if I mix yellow and red, or, oh man, there's so many, so many choices, right? We're going to talk about that, right? So what we're going to do today is... I'm going to move you to the table, okay, and we're going to talk about your paint and how you can get yourself organized and work and do your painting, and we're going to talk about the primary colors. Don't forget to check that video that I put there for the color wheel, okay? We're not doing a color wheel now, but in the future, if we get a chance, we're going to do a little color wheel too, just to practice mixing colors, but this is our assignment today is to learning about the primary colors and how to mix them, okay? I'm going to move you to the table so I can show you the right way for you to organize yourself and start your painting project. All right, kindergartners, let's go. Okay, so this is what we're gonna need for today. We're gonna need our yellow, we're gonna need our blue, we're gonna need our red, okay? We're gonna need a paper palette, one, you're gonna, need a, you're gonna need a paper. Now, look, you see, if you have a table that you can paint on or you're gonna paint on the floor, it's fine. 
If not, my suggestion is put a plastic under, okay? All right, now I'm gonna do this, look. I'm gonna put my paper here, but you see, because my paper was rolled, it is kind of hard to stay. So I'm gonna use a little piece of tape, see? A little piece of tape, and I'm gonna put one piece of tape here, see? And I'm gonna put another piece of tape there. Okay, All right, so I'm gonna put a piece of tape. Okay, so one, two, all right? I'm going to need my pencil. So I'm gonna grab my pencil and I am going to do three circles. Remember we're practicing with shapes, so I'm gonna make one, two, three. Okay, now, if you have a hard time making a circle, you can also use something to make the shape, see? So, you can put a cup, hold the cup, and go around the cup, see? So, I'll show you how to do that, look. Okay, so I tape it, I get a cup, and I hold my cup, and I go with the pencil around, look. See? See that? Look. Look. Okay, one, and then I'll make another one. See? Two, then I'll make another one. So, I have three circles, okay? Three circles. Now, what I'm going to do is I need some water. So you need to get a container for water. You can use a little plastic like this, okay? But you also need a paper towel, all right? You can use something like that. Look. You look. Don't fill it up, okay? Use only half, right? You're going to need a paper towel, okay? So get a paper towel there. All right? Okay, so we're going to start with the yellow, okay? So grab your paper palette, okay? Make sure you don't lose the little cap, okay? Because if you lose the little cap, your paint is gonna dry. So when you use, you put the cap back. So we're gonna put a little bit of yellow here. See, look, okay? See that, right? I'm gonna put the cap back, okay? All right. Now, I'm going to take my Mr. Brush and I'm going to get and put paint in here. See? Now, I'm going to try to get the paint only in the hair, okay? That's when the little song goes. Like, I have a little song that goes, Not in the matter, just in the hair. Not in the matter, just in the hair. Got it? So, look, I'm going to choose one circle yellow. You can choose any one, okay? Because remember, we have three colors. We need to color three. So I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to do it yellow. I'm going to do the center one. See? So I'm going to start with the edges. Okay. See? So if I get a little off, it's fine. No big deal. Okay? But you see how I'm going gentle with my brush? Okay, look. Okay. See that, right? So I color the edges first, and then I go in the middle. Look, see? Run out of paint, get more paint. 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 Okay? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I got a yellow circle. Now, my brush is dirty. I have to clean it. The best way to clean the brush is three times. Look, you clean it once. See, you kind of wipe the bottom off the water. Oh, look at that. That's yellow water. Yellow water. Yellow water. Okay. And then 
you dry with your paper towel like this. See? You have to hold it and write it off. Don't go like that or you can ruin your brush. So you have to go like from the handle in the metal, you go out. See? Then you have to do this two more times. So three times. Look. Another time. Another time. Another time. Okay? All right? Now look at that. Beautiful, nice, and clean. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my red, my other primary color. I'm going to take the cap and I'm going to put it away from my yellow. I don't want to put it together. So in my palette, I'm going to put a little bit of red. Okay? Put the cap back. All right? Now I'm going to do the same thing. Okay? I'll take a little paint, right, in my hair, and I go and I do the edges on my circle, right? If I get off a little bit, no big deal, see? Not a problem, all right? Okay, but do you see how I'm holding? See that I'm not holding here, it's not good. So I hold in here. See, right? And then I go in the middle and I do the same thing. I'm gonna try not to leave a white spot. See, what I meant by a white spot is this, look. See, now too many white spots, so you get a little more paint, okay? Okay. Okay. Nice and pretty. Check it out, isn't that cool? So that means I have one more to paint. Can you guess what color goes next? Ha ha, yeah. So. I have to wash my brush, so here I go again. Look, like I swipe in the bottom. Oh, look at that color! That looks pretty cool, Mrs. Soul. I like it. Same thing once, twice, and one more time. Okay, hmm, maybe one more time, Mr. Souza. Here we go. Okay, oh, nice and clean. So here I go for my last one, my blue. So remember, I'm gonna put it away in my palette, okay? So here's my blue. You see, I am not trying to waste, okay? So I am using just a little bit of paint, so no wasting. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get the blue, okay? And I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna start with the edges, okay? Remember how I hold my brush, okay? with my three fingers. Right, if I get off, it's fine. I go gentle with my brush, okay? I don't have anywhere to go now. I'm doing art, so when I'm doing art, I'm having fun and I like it. I am creating things, I'm painting, so I don't wanna go anywhere, so no rush. See? So I'm going to try to go after I did the edges. Okay. All right. Here I go. Here I go. Very cool. Right? Okay. So here are my three primaries. Blue, yellow, and red. Now I have to wash my brush. Okay. So Let's do it again. Oh, what is going to happen now, Mr. Souza? Woohoo! Look at that. Whoa! One, two, three. Okay, now, if your paper towel starts to get too dirty, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, throw it away and get a new one. Okay? Okay, my dear kindergartens, brushes, clean them up. Don't forget that. Every time you change color, you have to clean your brushes at least three times. Okay, sometimes you have to throw the water, put a new water. Okay, now let's go to the next step. That paper, the one, this one here, oh, we're going to make this into this. Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you? All right. So let's move. Let's get back to the next part.
part of the lesson. Oh, it's too wet, Mr. Sosa, be careful. Yeah, be careful with your project, okay? Because it's very messy. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, where should I go now? Okay. Oh, you still there? Bye-bye. <laughs>